you know, you were the only collegiate player at the Olympics in Beijing, so you've already played against NBA guys in the Olympics. That give you confidence for these type of workouts? Yeah, it did. It gave me it gave me great confidence to know that you know I compete at that level, and that was the experience that I got at, at the Olympic campaign. And I felt that you know going into my second year at St. Mary's at the college level, that um, yeah, it gave me the confidence to know that um, you know I can carry that what I had learned um, you know over into my second year and really you know help me to develop my game. In this setting, having representatives from all these different teams. They used to do workouts for individuals. It's a little pressure having 20 or so teams, everybody looking at you? It is, there, you know, to, to, to look across and know that, you know, there's a table long or, or full of, um, you know, different teams, there, there is that pressure. But, you know, once you get onto the court, you know, it's just, you know, the, the here and now. And, um, you know, today was a great workout. And, you know, I was around great, great athletes. And, um, you know, it was good to be put, a, put in amongst those great, uh, you know, good, good type of, you know, caliber guys. You know, you have the June 15th deadline to either sign with a representative and declare for the draft, or you could still go back to St. Mary's. What are the key factors in making that decision? Um, look, look, there's a lot of key factors. Obviously, the, the feedback that I'm going to get at the end of all these workouts will have a you know, good indication of where I'm at in terms of the draft. But um, look, there's still a, you know, a few more weeks to, to decide that. But in between then, you know, I've got a lot of workouts, obviously, to you know, try and get that hard work in to, to you know, try and... Try and hopefully, you know, put myself in, in the best position possible. You know, what's funny is that guys like Tony Parker, Gilbert Arenas went way late in the draft. That may work to your benefit, even if the feedback was, well, we see you maybe later, you might end up with a better team. Yeah, exactly. Like, like you said, there's all these different factors, um, like Tony Parker, you know, going through the, the, the situation he went through to get in the NBA. But, but it is, look, as, once as, you know, as long as you get the chance to get in there, you know, you, you just have to... Um, make the best of your opportunity, that's what I'm trying to do now. This is your third workout. Is the feedback on your shooting ability, you had the wrist injury, but is it something where we want to see you shoot the ball in these workouts? Is that what most of the people are talking to you about? Yeah, obviously my hand set me back a little bit and you know, teams, are, teams are saying that you know, that might you know, kind of conflict on, on my ability to, to come back how, how I used to be. But um, my, hundred, my hand's 100% you know, um, healed. Um, so I just got to come back now and have the confidence and the ability to, to keep shooting the ball. But yeah, there is a lot of talk about my hand, but you know, I can say that, that the, the scan shows that it's 100% healed. I saw you play internationally against the best the world has to offer, and you more than held your own. Is there a point guard that you pattern your game after, or if you're watching NBA games, say, yeah, I, I'd like to play a little bit like that guy? Yeah, definitely. I think Tony Parker is that, that guy who I have a similar style of game to, you know, the, the quickness up and down the floor, the way he runs his team, the way he, you know, penetrates in the key and uses on ball. So all those things, you know, I've kind of um, had a close eye on, on how Tony Parker plays the game and tried to, you know, um, put those, those styles in, into my game and, and, you know, try to help that, you know, with my, yeah, the, the way I play. Being in St. Mary's, you catch any Warrior games? Do you see some of the team? Do you know any of the guys on the team? I do. You know, not 20 minutes away from 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 here, so I do. You know, catch a lot of Warriors games, come to support. But um, yeah, I like being here. It's it's, it's kind of my, my home away from home here in the Bay, and um, it's a great area. Yeah.